Hi, I'm Wyatt Barsnip, and I work at St. Peter's College as an internship with Dr. Lopez and Dr. Zhu. We're going to go around campus today, interviewing students, just to see how many states of matter they think there are. We already know there's solids, liquids, and gas, but how many students know that if you heat a gas, you get a plasma? We're going to find out that today. Hey, man, can I ask you a few questions? Oh, oh sorry, sure. Hi, I'm Wyatt. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm Joe. Bob. Kedro. Alright, now I'm working over there in the physics department with Dr. Lopez and Dr. Zoo. Internship. And I was wondering, so how many states do you think there are? But, I don't know the other three. Three. Alright, most people do. Four or five. Can you name them? Solid, liquid, and gas. Uh, the solids, liquids, gases. So All right. are, I don't know. Alright, now there's a fourth state of matter. The plasmas. Do you have any idea how plasmas are made? No. I don't know. No. Well, have you heard of anything around, you know, outside for sale? You might own the plasma screen TV. It's the plasma screen TVs. I get that a lot. All right, well, that's your time. I gotta go, but... Okay. Thanks for the survey. All right, thanks. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Most people who are any type of scientist will say that there are three states of matter. These three states are solids, liquids, and gas. The most common example of these are ice, water, and water vapor. But not many people know about the fourth state of matter, plasma. Plasma is an ionized gas, which means it has a charge. It is created when electrons are ripped from their atoms in a gas. As the electrons speed up, the gas heats up and you get a plasma. Now, it starts off with atoms and their electrons. You put a gas in a containment chamber and suck the air out. After this, you put in the electrodes and you start running electricity through them. After that, the electrons get ripped away from their atoms. As they speed up, the gas begins to heat up until the point where you actually get a plasma. Plasmas are usually bright and colorful, like in these pictures. Now there are two types of plasmas, cold and hot plasmas. Cold plasmas are just about as hot as room temperature, while hot plasmas can be any place from a couple of thousand to a couple of million degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is a type of hot plasma. It actually holds the planets in orbit with its gravity. Plasmas are the most common form of matter in the universe. All the stars, nebulas, and planets are all plasmas. Thank you for watching our video. This is Joe Miles, White Marsnack, Michael Liza, and Jeremy Ducasilio saying bye. I hope you learned something today that's useful for life.